Hi guys, tonight I'm going to the VIP screening of Sin City 2. I'm so excited. This is my finished makeup look and if you keep watching this video you will find out how to do it step by step. <laughs> First thing I did was moisturise my face as I've just got out of the shower and blow dried my hair. Um, I just put a really light amount on because I don't want it to kind of interfere with the makeup. And now I'm going to put on Professional by Benefit. Next for foundation, I did have a spray tan done yesterday so my skin is much darker than it usually is. I went for a fake bake spray tan, one of the 60 minute spray tans. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix my foundation which I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. It's got SPF 20 and it is in Cameo. And I'm going to mix that with my tinted moisturiser. My tinted moisturisers are always a darker shade than my normal skin because I use them a lot in summer so obviously I tend to be a little bit more tanned than the rest of the year and this one is NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser event. I want like a better coverage um, so if I mix them together that should give me a good shade and a nice even complexion. <laughs> taking it down below my chin just so you don't get that two-tone look that people sometimes get. I'm not worrying too much about under my eyes because I'm going to use illuminator and concealer for my dark circles. The first thing I do is take Benefits Boing and I'm going to go in the dark patch in the crease of my nose. <laughs> under my eyes. Miraculously, for the first time in ages, I don't actually have any blemishes. I have clear skin. Next, using the same brush, I'm going to take Benefit Lemonade and do the sockets of my eyes and take it all the way up to the top. This um, product just gets rid of any redness um, and obviously the lighter that you have um, at the top of your eyes, it kind of makes your eyes look bigger. And I take it into the corner of my eye um, as this makes, the lightness here will make your nose look thinner. Now what I'm going to do is set the foundation, the concealer and the lemonade. So actually I just bought this product yesterday so I'm still kind of trialling it but um, I'm going to put a translucent powder which is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. What I'm going to do is just put this anywhere where I might get a bit sweaty if it is sunny tonight. Um, so my T-zone and also around my eyes just to set that um, just to set the makeup and if I did have blemishes I'd also put it over the blemishes so that um, it kind of sets it so it wouldn't stick to the bronzer or anything like that. Before I do my illuminator I'm gonna focus on my eyeliner um, just because I might smudge the rest of my makeup if I do too much. I'm gonna use a brown smoky two-in-one gel liner for eyes and brows by The Body Shop. I've been using this product a lot and I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna put this as thinly as possible along the top and then from there build up if I want to. That's my eyeliner done, so now I'm gonna put on my illuminator. But don't put it on spots because it will draw attention to your spot. Underneath my eyes. And again, into the corner of my eye to make my nose look narrower. Bit of light there. And I'm going to blend this in with my concealer brush afterwards. I'm going to put it down my nose. I'm going to do it as straight as possible so it doesn't look like I have a wonky nose. And I'm going to put it in the little circle of my mouth. Under my chin. Underneath my brows. 
and at the very top of my brow at the end and blend those in. Now I'm going to add the contouring, so the dark. So I'm going to use this Daniel Sandler uh, bronzer and just because it's got no glitter in it it's got nothing that's going to make my face look shiny it's a nice matte product I'm using the also the Daniel Sandler uh, water brush um, it's great shape for contouring <laughs> blend that in and if I've put too much on I would use my foundation brush to blend it out a bit next is my eyeshadow which I should have done before I did my face but I'm doing a weird order today just so that if the powder goes on your face um, obviously if you've already done your makeup it's a little bit more annoying I'm gonna use two different palettes this Avon eyeshadow palette which is all browns and I'm also going to use Beyond Sunset the eyeshadow quad by Daniel Sandler which is a nice mixture of golds and browns it's a bit darker than the other one <laughs> my eyes and um, I just need to do my mascara so I'm gonna put the Urban Decay Subversion Primer on my top and bottom lashes and then put the Perversion Urban Decay Mascara on so I'm putting that straight over the top of the primer next I'm gonna do my eyebrows so I'm using this Isla Brows palette I'm gonna put this little balm onto my brow then I'm taking a clean brush and using the lighter shade in the palette I'm just going to brush that lightly into my brows and next I'm using the Gimme Brow Benefit Brow Gel my one is a light brown or light medium I think it's called but there is a dark one as well and then I'm just going to use a plain brush to brush them through the way I want. I'm using What's Up by Benefit. And then for my blusher, I'm using Clinique at the moment. It is 102 Innocent Peach. Um, and I think this is such a nice summery peachy shade, especially when you have a tan. It looks like this. I'm just going to blend that into the bronzer. Because the event isn't for a couple of hours, I'm going to use this Collection 2000 Fix Me Up. I'm just going to spray that. onto my face to set the makeup and leave that to dry this is my summer makeup look for tonight's premiere of Sin City 2 um, I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm going to put all the links below so do let me know what you think give it a thumbs up if you like the look I'm going to add a video of my finished look so it'll have my lipstick and my outfit um, and don't forget to subscribe to me and hopefully I will see you soon Mwah. Bye.